I'm going to try to turn this $1 into $100 in 24 hours. And if I can do that, I'll give all the money I make to a homeless person at the end of this video. However, the only rule I have is I cannot tell anyone this is a YouTube video so they don't end up helping me with more money than expected. You know how most people do, they just, you know, they overdo things. But anyways, yeah, you guys will have patience with me because this is actually my first challenge video on YouTube. You know, I just usually just sit right there in my desk. It's, it's, it's all the way over there i just usually sit there and talk about people's video just to let you all know I, I have class in like three hours from now three to four hours from now actually so i'll try making like twenty dollars before i attend class so mm -hmm. the first place we're gonna go to is kroger so right now i have to get in my car and to kroger <laughs> While I was leaving, I noticed I didn't have much gas in my car. As you can see, it's pretty low. It's gonna literally turn off at any moment from now. And the rule of the game is I have to put gas in my car using whatever I make from the $1. And of course, I couldn't stop playing Eminem. <laughs> Anyways, I arrived Kroger with the mindset of spending only $1 for buying a candy or a mint. I walked in happily knowing that I'm about to give a homeless person $100. This is my favorite bread. Um, it's, It costs like $6 or $7. I can't even remember, but it's my favorite. And you can see all of these items right here is they cost $4. $4. And most of them are like 3 four dollars three dollars nine dollars but i never saw something worth of one dollar i was literally finding any single thing i can get for one dollar and this one costs like 199 179 and you know my budget is one dollar i need something worth of one dollar i don't even know what this is mint mint ninja i don't even know but i left the candy aisle to go do what i have never done in my entire life ask staffs for stuffs mm -hmm. um do you also have anything worth one dollar anything for a dollar yeah Oh, you can ask him because he, he works here. I'm just a merchandiser. I'm sorry. Now, you now, he was just a merchandiser, but I don't believe him. He's lying. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. He was obviously a merchandiser with the red shirt. But anyways, I walked through and I saw this old employee. He's probably been working there for like 16 years. I don't know. I asked him the question uh, that I asked the former merchandiser. Do you sell anything worth $1? Anything? Yeah. Anything. Some... Apart from fruits. I don't know. Candy or they might be able to get a cookie in the deli or something. In the deli? Cash. Do we have anything that's for sale? For a dollar? Um, like food or just anything? Like maybe meats or candy. Anything. I'll go. To, I'll stop and go to the candy aisle. Look, there's a bunch of candy that I must to find maybe. Okay, thank you. God, bro, she brought me to the same place I just left. And there's literally nothing here for the price of one dollar. As you can see, all of them are just like four dollars, four dollars, three dollars, mostly four. So you can see, four. There is no single candy worth one dollars in Kroger. So I'll just, you know, I'll just go to CVS and then we can talk about my plan of how I want to turn this one dollar into five dollars. Then walk my way up to twenty dollars so I can finally attend class. You know, if I buy the mint or candy worth one dollar. I can like resell it at people's home for about five dollars. You know, I would have resold, I would have resold it for two dollars or maybe four dollars. But like five dollars is a really fair price if you, tell, if you ask me. So yeah, I'll resell it for five dollars and then yeah have an amazing plan of how to get to twenty dollars so i walked out of kroger because they didn't have what i can buy for the price of one dollar so i headed down to cvs because i feel that they might have something worth of one dollar that i can buy and you know as usual i just kept blasting my m m jam six minutes later i arrived cvs which was very customerless when i got in i saw mick dudes goobers sour patches i didn't see ryan's candy which made me sad but like all these candies cost three dollars four dollars and 199 and i had one dollar i was literally wanting to spend one dollar on the candy and i can't find nothing i saw heads but heads was like 199 and the only one i saw for 99 cents was empty including this one it was empty for the same price of 99 so i did exactly what i did in kroger which was ask the staffs for stuffs so i asked the staff and he didn't know anything what's one dollar in cvs which was sad to me because now i was starting to feel hopeless i was starting to feel like my efforts is just you know going to go in waste or something until i found this angel um excuse me ma'am do you sell anything what's one dollar in cvs any candy 
candy, maybe mint. Yeah, so it's like 30 cents. Yeah, the same one. How much is the one? 39 cents. We sell those. 39 cents? This one? Yep. Okay. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! You see, I actually wanted to buy one candy with my budget of one dollar. But because of this angel that God sent to me, I, I was able to get three candies for the price of one dollar. Actually, it's, it's not even up to a dollar. So while I was checking out, one of the candy refused me buying them. I don't know why, but I feel it's late for a Diddy's party because while I was trying to check out, it, the, the code didn't scan and then it ripped out of his package for some stupid reason. I don't even know why. So I left the candy. I didn't end up taking it. It was chocolate, by the way. It's, it's, it's it's a Diddy's match but anyways i left the store and i headed straight to our neighborhood so initially the plan was to get one candy but uh because god loves me so much i got two candies and the third one just so you know the third one that you know that ripped off the package i didn't actually collect it so like yeah now i'm gonna go knock some doors in the neighborhood in the rich neighborhood probably a rich neighborhood i'll just knock some dolls and ask them if they want to buy some whatever this is um i suppose it's a candy a chocolate candy i have never even seen this kind of stuff in my life but anyways it's 39 cents and you know it fit the budget so yeah i'll just go knock and try selling them for like five dollars i mean yeah five dollars is a fair price because if you talk about my gas i spent and everything so yeah once i sell that i have an i have an amazing plan of uh yeah how we can make our way up to twenty dollars so um why not i just play my m&m jam and go into the road i think this is the play I, this is the place i just you know caught this camera and appear in the neighborhood in a sound neighborhood i don't know why i'm still talking i'm just go The first door didn't actually respond, which was discouraging. But I went ahead to the next door, which I rang his doorbell, and he came out. But um, this was what he told me. Hi, sir. How you doing? I'm good. I'm in the meeting. Oh, I just wanted to like sell you this candy. I I do, I got it for someone, but like I want to sell it for five dollars because I'm actually trying to raise money for. Yeah, I don't have any money. cash, man. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So, I just knocked on three doors. The first person didn't reply. Uh, the second person actually replied, but like he said he was in a meeting and he wasn't ready to talk. And I went ahead to tell him the purpose of, you know, raising money for the homeless. And he was like, uh, yeah, he doesn't have cash on him. So I, I said, okay, thank you. Uh, I played the clip, but like I, I went numb, okay? I went numb because I <laughs> it's actually my first time knocking on people's doors telling them to buy a candy i don't even know what flavor is this candy but anyways yeah um it seems like the people in this neighborhood are you know they're barely around because the time currently is like 12 minutes after 12 p.m or 12 p.m 12 12 whatever i don't know where you're watching from but like here right now in texas is 12 22 i guess so yeah so i'm gonna go to a richer neighbor a bigger neighborhood i don't want to say richer because you know that's kind of like disrespectful so yeah Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm already sweating Oh my Fucking god Look there is no single car Packed in any of these houses Except from that one I don't know what I don't know but like Yeah except from that one So I'll just move out from this neighborhood real quick Yeah I think we just found Our dream neighborhood I'll just go ahead and pack real quick So we can sell some Unflavored candies even in this neighborhood, no one was responding to their doorbell. Everyone was just chilling inside. I don't know, it's not even Thanksgiving yet or Christmas or even, you know, Halloween. But I just decided to chill and not respond to their doorbell, which is kind of rude. I mean, it's rude that I'm knocking. But anyways, yeah, no one responded until God sent me an angel. I was already look, losing hope. You know, I thought no one would buy a candy from a random B dude in the door. If you know what B means, you know what I'm talking about. This is what my angel looks like. And also, it also took some time before she actually responded to our doorbell. What were you thinking? She's just chilling next to our door, waiting for some dudes to pull up, asking her to buy some candy. What's five dollars? The candy that she don't even need. I don't even know the flavor. <laughs> what were you thinking? I'm just joking. Please don't skip the video. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to sell. Yeah, I'm trying to raise money for my um, homeless friend. So like, I'm selling candies. Do you mind buying them for me? Well, you know what? We already donate a whole lot to homeless, but I don't mind giving you a little something if you'll just wait. Okay, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Uh -huh. I think we just found her person. 
she just said she wanna buy the candy. She doesn't she didn't say she wanna buy the candies, but like she wanna help the homeless guy. Uh, there are still good people in this world. Here you go. Have a good one. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh, I appreciate. Yes, 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 boys and girls, we just sold our candy without even selling the candy. Yeah, yeah, I already explained. But yeah, here we go. We got the $5. So now my plan is, this is the part where I like caught to a gas station because I'm really low on gas. Like I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass low on gas. I'm supposed to call that dead ass out. But like, yeah, I'm low on gas. Yeah, she didn't take the candy. As you can see, the candy is still with me. I don't know if you can yeah you can obviously see that but yeah she, the candy is still with me and she gave us a five dollar bill yeah damn there are nice people in this world I'm telling you they are really nice people so my five more dollars to go while I was heading to the gas station I played some Eminem jam but I can't play it loud because I'll get copyrighted I'll just go ahead and sing it for you Nate got taken away with the state that's eight years old and that's when I realized it wasn't sick and all right boys and girls we're currently in quick trip as you can see yeah please see that i'm 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 my own cameraman yeah i prefer buying um gas from quick trip because it's absolutely good they sell good gas at quite a good rate so um yeah i'll just since it's cash since we have cash instead of apple pay or whatever stuff like that i'll have to go in there and give the cashier cash to the cashier <laughs> that's actually funny yeah i'll just go in there and give the cash to the cashier and then she'll put gas in pump whatever pump this is so yeah let's cut to the gas S to the cashier i'll have five dollars in pump 13. 13? 13 13 yeah 13 all right let's have a good one See you next time Yes, sir. Thank you. So I got the gas worth five dollars, and while he's entering the car, I'll just go ahead and sing that song of Eminem's that I was trying to sing until I got cut off. So Nate got taken away by the state that's eight years old, and that's when I realized it wasn't fixed and it wasn't fixable or changeable. And to this day, we remain in a strain and I hate it though. But I guess we are who we are. Dun, dun. Hell I shining in the dark not I drive You see my song is so good that YouTube might even copyright my voice thinking I'm the real Eminem. I'm just telling you because I'm not I'm not joking. I'm just Okay, so now I have five dollars worth of gas in my car. As you can see, that's five dollars worth of gas right here. Yeah, it shows it's like it's like half tank now. So yeah, now I'm gonna you know run a couple of errands in an app called instacat i don't know if you have heard of instacat but it's just like doordash if you're in america you should know doordash if you don't have you been living under a rock but anyways yeah um instacat is some is an app where you know people place an order and people like me delivers the order to their homes so yeah this is is a is a is, is, is quite a lazy scheme but anyways yeah um, the rich can do whatever they want <laughs> uh yeah Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so now after that i will do the orders and hopefully we get 20 dollars before i have to attend class because i have class in like um 54 minutes from now i have class in 54 minutes from now so definitely you are gonna see see me in the class you're gonna see because i have max i have mass class and um government class i bro i hate those classes but anyways you are gonna see how it looks like inside my class yeah for now let's go run some errands right now i have to turn on the app and hopefully we get an order that's what's twenty dollars so this is the app i just turned it on and it's loading it's loading give you some time be patient be patient boy be patient go uh, yeah it's loading um there is no need to be patient again so because it's, it's almost here but anyways i i won't just allow you to watch this yeah down okay so because we just we went out and we got the five dollars and we used the five dollars and we bought the gas that we were supposed to buy and now we're waiting on the order the um the errand i'm supposed to run you know the other the instant cat i was talking about so now we're waiting on the order to pop in so mm -hmm. yeah it's just, it was actually it's been successful okay it's just going as planned you know you understand so now i'm just gonna go play ps5 because you know i'm why waiting on the order i don't want to be like sleeping all day and also i don't know of you all but like me personally i like i love drinking um fruit punch minute made actually minute made fruit punch that's what i love drinking you know it's, it's you know it keeps me hydrated and yeah it's nice and no this is this wasn't a sponsorship or whatever stuff that other youtubers do it's just me enjoying minute made fruit punch 
Yes, five times. So I turned on this bad boy. I played and played. I lost quite a good amount of matches, but I won quite more good amount of matches. And you see my black face right there. I'm just chilling. I'm just. I shouldn't have said black. But I'm so sorry. If you're offended, I'm so sorry. But I just played, and uh, yeah, that was how it went. I won't let you watch all the way to the place just of just me playing and keeping. Say, I don't know why I'm serious. They are winning my ass. I don't know why I was serious. Yeah. Okay. So y'all, um, I, you know, I've been playing PS5 for the past like maybe. 20 minutes and i can't find another so because i haven't seen another since 20 minutes i have to be in class now so um i will head to school i'll just be on my way to school and then hopefully after school mm -hmm, we can still keep looking for other or we find another different way to make more money so for now this is the part where I caught to school. So I got to school, which I saw some baddies, but I couldn't talk to no baddies because I can't talk to baddies. And I also saw this beautiful water. I mean, I, I've been seeing the water. I just decided to show you. Please don't hate me. So yeah, just imagine if this video blows up on YouTube. You know, I got to school. I walked in. I just wanted to get that Ryan Tryance type of shot. And it wasn't my thing, but like I tried. I tried. When I got to class, this guy wouldn't just stop talking. He kept running his mouth. I had no idea what he was talking about, but I just kept nodding my head sideways up and down just so i wouldn't get asked some stupid questions that i know not the answer of so i left the class because i couldn't just keep up with the way he was teaching now i'm kidding his class was just his class was over okay i went to government class and he gave us this meet them exam which i didn't even know if it was a exam because they asked me of constitution and you obviously know the texas constitution so yeah and while i was at school i saw this order which was what eight dollars and happy else we left the class with an eight dollar word of order so i went to the other. you know usually i don't be having good news when you know i attend classes but like today i attended mass class and government class and all of a sudden i saw an order hmm that's 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 good so finally we now have an order just so you know and it's an eight dollar worth of order eight dollars worth of order and now i'm in fiesta currently i don't know it's right there in my back yeah i mean i'm currently in fiesta there are some of youths watching me right now some of some people watching me right now but anyways uh but anyways yeah oh i love doing youtube yeah let's just let's just go shopping so i grabbed the basket and i grabbed a potato that was the first thing on our list i also grabbed the cornbread and also grab this stuff and that stuff and milk and eggs and land lakes and i don't know what that is and some crabs yeah i saw this crab it was sad because just imagine how many crabs how many sea lives has died just to make us humans happy so i was done shopping so i left the store i checked out that was the receipt and while i was outside fiesta a guy asked me for some coin and i gave him the coin i was just i just yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't talk about that ever, ever again yeah all right boys girls nephew niece uncles mother fathers son six year olds 15 year olds we just made our first eight dollars and now we're just gonna walk away up to twenty dollars just as usual bye for now i'm hungry and i'm starving for now i'll just go home and have probably a spaghetti or maybe a meatball yeah definitely spaghetti all right yeah guys i know we're supposed to make um up to 100 dollars before the next 24 hours but if i'm being very honest if i'm being sincerely honest if that makes any sense um it has been 24 hours because life caught up on me i had to i had stuff i had to take care of uh stuff like that yada yada yeah doesn't even make sense to me but like yeah i couldn't it, it, it has been 24 hours okay it has been 24 hours and besides this video is already like 15 minutes or maybe 19 minutes long i don't even know but like it should be at that range and you know i don't want my videos to be that long so um we will just go ahead and turn this into a series instead of the 24 hours challenge and if i'm being i'm i'm yeah honestly i am going to give this money to a homeless person if i can't even reach the um hundred dollars if i make if i make the second part of this video next week and i you know don't end up meeting up to the hundred dollar goal i can just give whatever i made to the homeless person at least that would be fair and uh yeah is there anything i want to talk about mm probably not yeah um yeah subscribe oh my god i would have had me and the you know person in need to tell you how to subscribe but yeah the next episode you are gonna see this i'll just turn this into a weekly weekly episode if that makes any sense all right yeah fine girls just pulled up so i'm just gonna yeah. have a wonderful day guys